Though the ant heal as a queen and can't survive without her, her only function is to lay eggs. In one study of an actual leaf cutter ant colony, it was calculated that the queen laid about 1000 eggs a day. Myrmacologist ant experts say all the eggs are exactly the same. Yet remarkably, how much food a worker ant feeds each egg determines whether the generic egg becomes another worker ant, a soldier ant or a queen. Think about that for a moment. How is that even possible? More food to make a bigger ant is understandable. But how does more of the same food create ants with different functions? Can you even dream up a theory about how that could have evolved? Not surprisingly, evolutionists have neither logical nor scientific explanation for this. As a matter of fact, they don't have even a foggiest idea about ant origins. Why would the first worker ant think it should go up and feed an egg a certain way? How would evolution luckily create just the right mix of ant types for a balanced, functioning ant colony every time? And the real question is, where did the first worker ant come from that was needed to feed an egg so that it could grow into the first worker ant? From the queen? But who fed the queen while she was an egg? It seems that in this case, like in every other, all unique features and parts had to work perfectly the first time or the ant colony would not have survived. And that is exactly how the Almighty God conducts his creation.